Sometimes it's difficult to get your business verified for the Google My Business or the Google Business Profile. Typically what they'll do is they'll send a postcard out to the address that you register with Google and then you take that postcard and put a code into your account and then it becomes verified. But what happens if that postcard never shows up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to request a video verification, the different types of video verifications, and exactly what you need to have ready before you actually do the verification. So let's get started right now. So here I am on my Google screen and I have logged into my Google account. And so this is how you edit or make changes or even request support from Google, is you're just gonna go to the Google screen, you're gonna type in your business name. So I'm gonna type in Big West Marketing. When I scroll down here, I'm gonna see all these little options. This is the stuff that used to be in the dashboard, but now in 2023, it's right here on the search screen. Little confusing, not super convenient, but that's the way it is. And I have a video that goes in depth in this if you wanna watch that on my channel as well. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on these three little dots and then I'm gonna go down to help and support. This is gonna take me to the help screen. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna click on contact us. Now, what I'm gonna do of course is select my business and then I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna type in the word verification. I'm gonna click next. And then typically here, since you're working with a postcard and it's not working with a postcard, I'm gonna click fix postcard issue. Next step. I'm gonna scroll down again. Next step. Now I'm gonna click on email. This will allow me to contact Google by email, which is what I wanna do. I wanna initiate an email conversation with an actual Google rep. And I'm gonna fill out this form completely and I'm gonna put in my name. I'm gonna put in that I own this business. Now when I get to the screen, I wanna start filling it out as completely as possible. I wanna put in my name, my relationship with the business, which is gonna be the owner. Okay, I'm gonna give my email, the ones associated with my Google My Business account is the best one to put in here. So we can go back and forth with Google. And then I'm gonna put all my business information, all my company information. You should know all your company information, so I'm not gonna get into details about that. Now when you get down to this section, it's gonna say sometimes we can't verify you because we don't have enough information. Now, that may be true, maybe not true. Either way, you wanna get this thing verified so you can get it optimized and ranked up on Google, which I'm gonna show you how to do in just a minute here. Continues on, in these cases, the only remaining option is a live video call with one of our representatives. Would you be open to this option? And you wanna click yes. Now what's gonna happen is they're gonna be able to schedule a video call with you. So they're gonna set up a schedule and you're gonna have your phone here and they're gonna give you a special app, okay? And then you're actually gonna do a live walkthrough from the street into your home or to your commercial office, whatever it may be. And you're gonna walk in and you're gonna do all the videoing like that with a live representative from Google on your actual phone. This is the most legit way to get verified by Google. You don't always have to do this, but like I said, if you aren't getting the postcard, this may be the only way. Now, I wanna give you a couple tips here so you don't waste your time and you don't screw this process up. Before I do that real quick, if you like what I've told you so far, please subscribe to my channel, like it, share it with your friends, and also if you have any questions about this, please leave the questions in the comments below. I will get back to you. Now back to the lesson. Okay, like I said, there's a couple things you wanna know about video verifications. There are two types. One is a live video verification, like I said, where you actually are walking through with a representative using your smartphone, okay? The second one is where they will give you the option to just make a recording with your phone and they'll tell you exactly what you need to do and hopefully you have all that set up and then you can upload that to Google. Now, I've heard there are problems with getting the file to upload and there is an option in the support section to go in there and remedy that. But most likely you're gonna be doing a live call, which is like I said, the best way to get this verification done and over with so you can move on with getting your business ranked. The next thing I wanna tell you is, this is kinda of like a, a use it or lose it type situation. We have three clients that we're working with right now to do video verifications and two of them have waited more than a week to go in there and set this up and the option for the video verification disappeared. So what I'm telling you is be ready to go, have all your ducks in a row before you even decide to set this up. Cause like I said, it will probably disappear after about a week is what we've seen so far. Now the final thing I wanna talk about is getting your ducks in a row. What does Google wanna see? 
I want you to have all this stuff ready and prepared. So some people just have a home office. If you have a home office, you wanna make sure that the address number on your house is very visible. So if that has fallen off or something like that, you wanna make sure you have that on your place of residence if you're a home-based business. You wanna have that ready to go. And then when you walk into the house, they wanna see where you are actually getting business done. Most likely it's going to be a separate office inside your house or even just a desk up against the wall somewhere. And when you show them this desk, make sure you have different things that have your lettering or your logo on them. So invoices are a good example. You can have business cards sitting there. You wanna make sure this looks legit so that Google can verify this really is your business and this really is where you get things done. You can also have a little placard with like your business license on there as well. I've seen that work a couple times as well. And a lot of people that have home-based businesses are service businesses and they have vehicles, they have service vehicles. You want that service vehicle in your driveway and you wanna make sure if you're getting any graphics on that, if you're having your logo, graphics, and phone number and all the stuff that identifies your business on your vehicle, then you wanna make sure all that is ready to go clean and in the driveway. That way you can legitimately show Google that this is my place of business here is my service vehicle, and this is my service vehicle, and it's proven with my legit logo that matches my Google account. Okay, all these different things matter. Make sure you have all that stuff set up. We had one client who was waiting on getting the graphics put onto his van, and then, like I said, that option disappeared to do the video verification, so we had to start all the way over, and now it's done, it's in his driveway, and we can actually start the process. So what if you have an actual commercial residence or commercial location or office location? Okay, what you wanna do is make sure you have signage. This is very important. You wanna have signage on the door or on the awning, where, on the window, wherever it makes sense. You wanna make sure that you are legitimately showing Google, this is my place of business. Okay, you can't just walk into an empty place, an unmarked place and hope that Google will accept that. Okay, if you're doing a video verification, you wanna make sure that you're showing Google that this is where you work, okay? So if it's an office building, make sure the office suite number is on there. Make sure you have a little sign. Go ahead and get a little sign made with your logo on there if you have to, and hang that on the door, for example. And then when you walk into the office, you know, like I said, just like with the residents, you wanna make sure it's very obvious to Google that this is your business. You wanna have business cards out. You wanna have invoices with the logo and your lettering. You wanna have stuff on the walls that proves to Google that this is your business. I have a sign right here. If I was gonna do this with mine, I got a sign on my door and I have a sign right here, okay? Do little things like that to prove to Google that you are legit and you are who you say you are and you're doing business where you say you are. The actual location is the most important thing with Google Business right now. Now, once you get all the verification done, you wanna get ranked up on Google. There's a lot more optimization stuff you need to do to get ranked to the top of the little map section and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I have this free cheat sheet right here with eight different things that we do for all of our clients. These are all the primary ranking factors to get up and stay up. All you need to do is go down into the description below, click on the link and download that PDF. And there are even little play buttons on each one of these sections so you can go watch a video on the in-depth process of taking care of each one of these primary ranking factors. So go download that right now. Like I said, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Once again, my name is Joe Burnage with BigWestAcademy.com and I will see you in the next video.